Let's talk about the standard of the basic full text search. I've mentioned this before, but let me go through it now um, in particular. Uh, what's going on with a full set, uh, with, a, with a, what I'll call a simple full text search? And what I mean by that is the one box, the box where you type in a word or a few words and you hit go and it comes back with some search results. That's become sort of the default simple search behavior. And I call it simple search to contrast it with advanced search, which we'll talk about later. The simple search um, is a full text search. Uh, and the full text search means that the information base has been indexed by word. Each word in the information base, and when I say each word, it may be each word um, in a limited part of the information base or each word in, um, in the entire, any place you could possibly have a word in the information base. It could be limited just to the body of items in the information base. It could be the body in some set of metadata tags inside the information base that, have, um, that are considered significant enough to search. At any rate, um, whatever we've decided are all the words in the information base are all organized alphabetically and linked back to their position in the information base. Then you type in a word or phrase into that box, you hit the button, and what happens? You hit the button and a search is done against that index. So as I've mentioned before, this is all based on an index. It's a full text index. A full text index is an alphabetical list of the words that are in these items, and a search is done against that index, meaning that some apparatus, some mechanism goes through the index and finds the terms that match whatever you've typed in. Now, there, it could get more sophisticated. For example, you could type quotes around that, and if you type quotes around it, generally speaking, that means that the entire phrase, all those words in that order will be looked for. You can, you can um, have sophisticated and or not kind of operators, but usually, and you know, the way to think about it really is, I type in a bunch of words, the search engine behind the scenes looks in an alphabetical index of all the words and all the items, finds matches for those words, and gives me a result. Now that result is actually kind of interesting from our standpoint. What is a result? If you think about it, you'll see that a result is a representation of an information item. I've searched all, I've searched, um, all or some set of the items in the information base. I return those items, meaning I now can get to those items, and really what that means is I have all the IDs of those items, and from the IDs of those items, I create a presentation of that item. The presentation in the case of a search result is often simply the title and maybe one paragraph of the body of that, of that, um, of that item that contains the words that's been looked for. And it could also have things like the date the item was created or whatever little bits and pieces of the item that you choose to include. So it's a representation, it's a view, it's another um, transformation of the item. And so the result set that comes back from a, um, from a full text search, ranked in whatever way the full text search engine decides to rank it, for example, um, uh, by how, how many times the word appeared or how, many, um, or how close the word that you're looking for is to the top of the item or if the word you were looking for is in the title of the item versus in the body of the item. Those are all different possibilities for how to rank the results in a sequential order, in the order in which the author believes you should look at those items. So this search has some interesting parts to it. Um, the search itself is probably, from our standpoint, the simplest, the simplest aspect. I take all the words out, I alphabetize them, I link them back to where they go in the information base, and when you do a search, I compare your search against the, um, uh, against the, the, the words, against the words in the index. And then there's the idea of the result set being a sequence of views of items. And so it's a navigation structure allowing you to get to those items, but it kind of sits on the fence between navigation structure and presentation of the items. And in fact, you may need to go no further than looking at the result set to get what you wanted about the, um, about the information. How many times have you Googled something and you never actually go to the page? You just look at the little blurb that's on the Google, re Google result set and that gave you the information you needed and then you go on with your work. So uh, let's see if there's anything else I want to tell you about basic search. I think that's it. You see a, you see a, a picture on your screen here that shows you, uh, um, uh, shows you the, the idea of a basic search. And we'll talk more about an advanced search in just a moment. It's all yours, guys.